Tying a reef knot using an instrument is a fundamental skill to learn, not just for the aspiring surgeon, but for all doctors. Being able to perform it well and with confidence can be extremely useful, especially when performing more superficial wound closures that we may come across in the emergency room. What we're aiming to do is tie a simple reef knot that allows the wound edges to be opposed, thus enabling them to heal. We'll start by demonstrating the reef knot being performed with the instrument in our right hand, and then later we'll show with the instrument in our left hand. The rubber tubes that you can see represent the edges of a wound. We start by holding the end of the suture closest to us with our left hand. The needle holder in our right hand is then held out horizontally over the suture. The left hand then loops the suture up and over the instrument once. The instrument is then used to pick up the end of the suture that is lying away from us. And this is then pulled towards us through the loop in the process, whilst at the same time the left hand moves away from us to form the first throw of the reef knot. We then position the instrument holder over the suture again. The left hand which is holding the suture end lying away from us then loops the suture over and around the needle holder. We pick up the suture end lying closest to us with the instrument and take it away from us, pulling it through the loop as we do so. This forms the second throw of the reef knot. Remember that it's this crossing of the hand that is important as it allows each of the throws to lie flat, which prevents the knots from slipping. Whilst the reef knot technically only involves two throws, to further secure the reef knot, we repeat the actions of the first throw again. By adding this extra throw, this makes the knot more secure and is less likely to slip. Upon completion, we should have a simple and secure reef knot, as you can see demonstrated here. OK, let's have a look at the process again. Now for those of you who are left-handed, we'll look at the tie being performed with the instrument in our left hand. We start by holding the end of the suture closest to us in our right hand. The needle holder in our left hand is held out horizontally over the suture. The right hand then loops the suture up and over the instrument. The needle holder is then used to pick up the end of the suture lying away from us. This is then pulled towards us, passing it through the loop in the process. At the same time, the right hand moves away from us at 180 degrees. The needle holder is again repositioned over the suture, and the right hand then loops the suture end that is lying away from us, up and over the instrument. We pick up the suture end lying closest to us with the instrument, and pull it away from us, pulling it through the loop at the same time. Again, note the crossing of the hands with each throw. We then repeat the actions of the first throw to perform additional throw to the reef knot to help secure the reef knot and prevent it from slipping. Okay, let's have a look at the process again. 